That is slightly unexpected from me. I'm trying to think as I take a look back at my notes. Are they and... stealing cars? Oh, yeah. Okay. This is um, a backup drop, I suppose, for Quad 2. They, they, they lit. <laughs> After all, it just took four cars. Yeah. From Impala. I think there are like four and a half vehicles spawned, and they have to go to the other side of the map. Yeah, that's death. They're gonna find death. Will it be? Will it? That, uh, there's only two here. On the position, the full pull up is commencing. Beamy. Hitting surprisingly little in the first one. Bob finds one with a solo of eight. He finds the second. Bob finds the third. Just like that, Twisted Mind's in trouble. They have found two knocks of their own, though, and AC Teamer will fall, so damage done. Oh. Twisted Mind's eliminated in the end of it, but so much damage done to Fit Esports, and now they have to be very careful because other teams will have seen this. Although Outside you don't want to crash that, into a whole lot of work. Yeah. To be Twist made. Ooh, Baron actually surviving that, forcing James to go and heal in the next door room and allowing for himself to get out of the building. Nice timing and lucky for James to not be able to find the knock there initially. It allows for him to back off and regroup with his teammates. And Tropic's having a hard time getting in on the north side as well because Na'Vi has yep. a clear line of sight to be able to absolutely dismantle them. Unfortunate for Entropic, both them and Twisted Minds really having a rough time of it considering there are 2022 campaigns overall. And now a north hard shift after all is laughing. It's uh, going to be very hard for them to maintain full control. Of the yeah. Making sure you controlling your sphere of influence is not easy, but huh, that being said, Sarvam here finally does end up running into phase. They knew that they were coming along for quite a while after hearing them from where Baron Peak's vantage point was. And now, phase, can they dislodge them from this box? Xurexi will take down Voldemort. That's a point for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, and Martin, apparently. <laughs> and me. And uh, are we all, have we all got correct? And now oh. he dies. Oh, no. Thank you, James, for bringing that up. Great. How do you beat 20 people? It's a global army, all right? Look at him. He's taking out FaZe. Oh. Sure has. Two full, and that's FaZe out in 14th. But the journey is far from over for Sabim here. They need to make their way out of the city into the hills towards the north, and there are going to be plenty of players set up there waiting for these last Valdelmar teams to make that run up. I suppose I should exaggerate more than 20 people. 20 people isn't exactly a global army, but we'll leave it for that. As BBL moving up against DA. Old rivalries ignited and a new flavor for 2023, I suppose. And to code Marco. <laughs> He's going to have to get out of there eventually because the circle will press him. Yeah. This might be Navi's path of entry down the line where Clib is kind of holding if they want to swing around on that side. But after all, Hitting Na'Vi from all the way over there yeah. is really putting a thorn in their side. That's not great for Na'Vi. Little does Na'Vi know. Rafa is coming up over the ridge line. Spots one finds him as well. Oh and the shot from across becomes the downfall of Na'Vi. The 2-2 two -two split looked good. They thought it was good. But one shot from a farm leads to half the split take it down. Amazing how quickly something can just collapse. They were four alive. They were looking like they were probably, it, if you just look at the map, take out M Force, start moving. But no, not at all. That shows the power of After Alt's position, considering how much influence that they can have on this game. Exactly. They ain't going to be the ones to claim a whole lot of eliminations or kills off of this, but uh, they sure as hell can uh, kind of be the deciding factor in whether or not other teams make it in or not. Sarvam, they've just taken out the entirety of the Wu of Sarvam for the most part, apart from Bestalok, who was on that left-hand side. But Brexico is going to look over the ridge, find himself global army, tries to go for the trade, does not get it at all. Throwing down a nade. And for a rare miss. In the meantime, Foot Esports going full crazy mode on uh, MCB. I'm seeing two knocks with a sawn off. Curious to see if we're going to get that on a replay eventually, because that must have been... Uh, been quiet this show in the meantime. Global Arby continues where he left off. Nate Galore as he finds the double on ascent. Very nice. GDE will finish off Navi as well. Foot actually dealing with MTB as they crashed into that compound. They are stalwart. They not only stopped Twisted Minds, they stopped MTB during this game as well. But Phil First is finishing off an entire global army alongside Sarvam Esports here. They're, question mark. They've not made the mark on this 
lobby too much just yet, but maybe yeah. this is a step in the right direction here as they've got not too bad a spot to be playing, though they are going to be going against the high ground here now. After all, they did the other two to be able to provide at least some potential cover for the two that were being so heavy handed on the cliff side, right? Mm -hmm. So for foot, yeah, you might survive a little while, but now at this point, there's the potential that Cl Question Mark cleans all of this up, which is a yeah. ton of points. Yeah. It could work out that way for them. I said there was going to be a few speed bumps for, uh, for Question Mark to maneuver the way through. They're taking the fights head on to full teams in front of them instead. So far, well, I haven't lost Dante. Seems to make it work. As I there say, that is. Matt finds one. A doozy. Falls for the second. This needed to be like, what, 20 seconds earlier, though, if you were really wanting yeah. to try and salvage it before. I, of course, you can't exactly anticipate uh, exactly what's going on over that Ooh. ridge. Heenan, man. I, I like this guy. I do. Seeing him in the qualifiers, I like this guy. Uh, he's able to hit some nutty shots. Sure is. And uh, most important in all of this, this allowed for After All to get back up to four lives. So while Colton split, Kind of cope with their pants now. They have been able to get each other back up and alive. As I say that, Enan falls. GDE now, the fifth party to join this battle from the northeast. Clem will finish a doozy as well. So they're actually salvaging this quite nicely. All things considered, yes, they're probably going to have taken some damage. It's Chris finishes off Hobbits, and that will be question mark in sixth place. Uh, yep. Whilst now Ascend are going to be trying to move up here, and those speed bumps become their speed bumps, unfortunately. <laughs> Not really. Everyone, though, down in that southeast side, having to make their way up towards northwest. And I think for both Afterall and GD, there's really only one way you can do that. Uh, I mean, wrap northeast, take the fight, and then come in from there. Question then becomes how fast does BBL react to it? Enan able to fight Chris. That is Ascent out in fifth place. We're now down to just four, and BBL starting to regroup. You don't have to fight, you just have to show presence. But and in doing so, forcing the other three teams into one another. They're playing mm -hmm. perfect for Q right now and not really sure. Oh. But showing enough presence so they can get the angles. Vart falls. Great shots coming through from Klim, but the immediate damage to follow ain't gonna be enough to take out after all. They continue the hot streak they're on. The clean Klim cleanup, but it won't be enough for BBL to then also come and crest over the hill and absolutely smash down on your position. GDE though. Will finish after all. That puts them in yeah. second place. But now, if they can get the recovery, which they can't, I don't think, yeah. it will be them 4v2. So 4v1 here for a cheeky BBL blast. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. This one's going to be BBL written all over it. And there you have it. Rustin Mark finds the final one. So I can fuck my world for 72 hours